Aaron is with us in Austin, Texas. Hi, Aaron. How are you? Hi, Dave. Hi, George. Uh, how y'all doing today? Great, man. What's up? So I've got a question about selling my house. Um, I'm just taking on a promotion, and so I'll be selling within the next 30 days. And I listen to you religiously, so I kind of know your answer, but I want to make sure. Um, instead of using a real estate agent, uh, I was thinking about selling it myself and using my brother-in-law, who's an attorney, um, to do all the paperwork to save in the realtor cost. Uh, I did speak to a real estate agent that sold us the house back in 2018, and based on the comps right now, she had told me about a month ago that she felt very comfortable listing the house at at least 230, or I'm sorry, 330. And so I was wanting to go a little over that, and um, I'm looking at maybe $20,000 in the fees. So I just he w he would be doing it for free, my my brother-in-law. So I just wanted to get your thoughts on that. Okay, your brother-in-law is not doing anything that the real estate agent does. When you sell a house, you typically use a title company or a closing attorney to close the house, and you pay a closing fee, and the closing fee is not that much money. So you're not really saving okay. anything that the real estate agent, the real estate agent doesn't close the house anyway. They just are the marketing agent, and they sell the house for you, help you with the negotiation, help you walk through the whole sale process and all the details but when you finally get to closing is the only time that you're using an attorney you don't use an attorney to draft a sales contract on a residential property the okay. sales contract just written up what by, about the, just written up by an agent but what about the profits though the profits from the from the sale of the house don't they get like a six percent on the profit of the sale of the house no they get six percent usually of the uh, sale price of the house and there's right. lots of research out there that shows that you will get, on average, more than 6% for the house because you used a professional agent that knows what they're doing. And, um, and, and so the typical house sold through a typical good, high-quality realtor sells for more than 6% more than the typical FISBO for sale by owner like you're talking about doing because you don't know what the flip you're doing. I mean, you already right. stumbled around your pricing just in describing it to us. So, Aaron, let's walk through this. If you do it for sale by owner, let's say you're able to sell for 300 because you can't do any marketing and you're hoping someone drives by, whatever it is. If a, you get a good real estate agent who can clean it up, stage it well, professional photos, MLS listing, the whole nine yards, you might sell for 335 which means you made 35 more on that sales price than if you did selling it on your own. And let me tell you, here's what's interesting. Let's pretend with this for a second, okay? Let's pretend that there was a house next door to you that was the same price with the same features for sale with a real estate agent. And your house is for sale by owner with the same price as the real estate agent house next door, okay? Which is the way that you would pocket the commission, right? You'd have to sell it for the same amount, correct? Right. And you put 6% in your pocket if you didn't use a real estate agent in that scenario. And if that buyer looks at these two houses that are identical, basically, or they're on the same street or they're next door to each other, they've got basically the same features and the same price, and he comes and knocks on your door, instead of knocking on the other door, you got to know what he's thinking. Hey, I'll be able to get this house cheaper because this guy's not having to pay a commission. Wouldn't he? And guess what? You can't save the commission as the seller, and the buyer get a cheaper price, save on the commission as the buyer, both. It's the same commission. You both can't save it. And so it doesn't end up happening is what happens. And so it ends, and, and your time on the market is longer. You're more prone to make mistakes with the valuation and what you put it on the market for. The mistakes in negotiation are horrendous. The things you leave out of the sale contract that cost you a deal because you don't know what you're doing. This, this is, is like, your this is a, your largest asset. All you're hiring when you're hiring a good real estate agent is a consultant that knows what they're doing. Now, I don't want you to hire a bonehead real estate agent that got their license that doesn't know what they're doing. 
and doesn't sell any houses. That's sweet if you got your license, you don't sell any houses, but you're not really a real estate agent. Okay, the people that sell, you know, 40, 50, 100 houses a year, that's a consultant that knows what they're doing. They're, they're worth their money. They're high octane, high protein, and that's how you get after it. And so, um, you know, just, just no. I, I would use a good real estate agent. I've had a real estate license since I was, ni- you know, since I was 18 years old, 1978. And um, it's not unusual. Well, I actually own a real estate company too now, but as, a, in, as a internal, as part of our property management process. So I use them, but they are real estate agents too. They know what they're doing to sell a property for us. We don't sell many properties, hardly at all. But uh, when I listed my personal residence, and I sold it last year in 2020. I listed it with a real estate agent. Again, I full disclosure, I own the company. But um, I didn't keep the commission. I paid the agent the commission mm. that works here, worked for me. You know, so, uh, and, and I know what the flip I'm doing. But I, I also know enough to know that I don't know. I'm not up on every little thing that's going on out there right now because I'm not doing deals every day. I don't do 100 transactions a year personally. Yeah. So I want somebody that does if they're going to help me with an, the marketing of a high dollar asset. Get a real estate agent and go to and don't necessarily go back to your old agent. Your old agent might be fine, but go to RamseySolutions.com, click on ELP, get one of our trusted people that has a high octane, high protein track record. Interview three or four people. If you were going to hire somebody and pay them 20 grand which you are, or 10 grand, or which you are, you know, you, you would interview more than one. You know, the, you're not getting a haircut. You're selling your house. That's right. This is the big, biggest transaction of your life, probably. So this is not amateur hour. I don't, I don't trust myself to do it, and I've got a pretty fancy camera, and I feel like I've been in the marketing world, but this is another ball game. And I just hired an electrician. Could I have YouTubed it for hours and probably got it wrong, got in a fight with my wife, got electrocuted, all to save on the electrician's fee? Absolutely. <laughs> but I decided uh, I'm going to let the pros do it. And that's how I feel about I don't. I don't pull my own teeth. Yeah. <laughs> I like to see you try, I've Dave. got a dentist. Just tie it to the doorknob and just, run. Just grab that pace of, pair, pair of <laughs> needle nose pliers and have at it. <laughs> I don't even work on my own cars anymore, which is harder for me than the real oh, estate boy. thing. But I, I open the hood, I can't even find the. Yeah. I can't find nothing when I open my car, Dave. It's just trunk space. You mean you can't find the battery? Nope. There's a big old battery under there somewhere. It's underneath. Oh, just follow the smell. You'll find it right next to the fire. Oh, boy.